involved in Odd Otter since it opened in 2014. Um, my business partner is my husband, Owen, and he has been a part of the ownership team since they opened in November of 2014. Um, but I became intimately involved this past January when I took over his previous business partner's ownership. Um, so now I'm the CEO of the brewery. To start our brew day, we take water and malt, and we'll mix those together. Malt being like uh, barley, sometimes we'll use uh, other things like wheat and oats. So we'll mix those together, and then enzymes go to work converting starches into sugars, and that is where we will get the sugary liquid that our yeast will eventually ferment. After the mashing process, we move on to the boil kettle. That's where we're gonna concentrate the liquid, we're gonna get some Maillard reaction happening. We are going to also use our hops in that process to, to give it a nice balance between sweet, bitters. It's all about making a balanced beer, and making a balanced beer could be, you know, going very bitter and very little sweetness, or it could even be being very malty with no uh, bitterness and everything in between, from your IPAs to a dunkel. There's a big range of beers. This building was previously used as uh, the USO primarily for African American soldiers. Um, so that's, there's still some of the historical aspects in the upper portion of the building right above us. They ha actually have some of the emblems that uh, correspond with different corps within the, the US Army. So that's a pretty cool aspect of this building. And a lot of us that are involved with the brewery are veterans or actually still involved with active service. So it means a lot to us to, to be involved with this particular building. And it was definitely one of the selling points when the original owners were uh, looking for a space to put the brewery. That uh, historical tie definitely uh, was important to them. So this building prior to us taking over it was actually part of the printing press um, for Johnson and Cox, which is down the street from us. And it looked completely different. There was different levels in the building and um, a lot of this wood was taken down from those previous levels and uh, restored into tables and the front of the bar over here too. So we got to reclaim a lot of the old wood in this building. I think part of the biggest thing that makes us stand out is just our passion for creating unique beers. That was the kind of inspiring point about this brewery coming into fruition is just creating beers that are different, um, with different flavors, different twists on original types of beers, uh, but something that stood out a little bit more, um, that wasn't just your typical Pilsner or your typical IPA or um, any other style of beer. We just wanted to add a little bit of a twist to it to make it a little unique and different and just kind of um, encompass the uniqueness of Tacoma itself.